In the last episode of the Subaru Refresh, I took you guys along with me to find all the problems on my car. Now, unfortunately, there were a few more problems than I was thinking. So over the last couple weeks, I've collected some parts and some to modify it because I figure if I'm taking the time to fix it, I might as well modify it while I'm there. Now I do have a few more parts coming, but I figured we could start here at least. Now something that I've wanted to get for a very, very long time, and it actually wasn't even as expensive as I thought it was, is a roll center correction kit, because I'm dying for this Subaru to freaking handle like the BMW does. I know it's on air suspension, we'll get that swapped out, but roll center correction, bada bing, bada boom. So I'm excited to get that thing installed. That's one of the mods we got. We also got a front sway bar, a Cusco front sway bar. Now, there's really no reason why I did it other than the fact that I have a Cusco rear sway bar and I just wanted it to match. We'll see how it is. I think they have a 21 and a 22 mil. This is the 22 mil. Eventually I wanna get uh, adjustable end links as well, but once I do the coilovers and get it all dialed in, we'll get there. Now, one of the worst things that I found on the car was the brakes, the front, passenger rotor is just completely gouged, gone. So I figure I might as well replace everything. We got stop tech, front and rear pads, and then also the rotors for the front and the rear, completely swapping that out. And we already have steel braided lines, so that's already dialed in. Let's see what, I haven't even seen what this looks like yet. D rear diff subframe lockdown system. This is all it is. Couple bolts that you thread in, apparently super easy. And then these guys here, just fill in the space uh, for the bushings. I guess like the bushings have some play in it or at least some space you could fill in with that. And that's literally it. Shouldn't be too hard to install these, but let's get to work. Got the brakes all finished up in the rear. Now, one problem that I ran into, you guys probably already saw it. I don't have the tool to, to push back the pistons and properly retract them, but um, so I ended up using a C-clamp on the outside of this and I completely ruined this little Brembo sticker on there. It was already falling off. It is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and replace them, but I'm pretty hyped with uh, how the actual powder coat on these Brembos have held up over time. Like they honestly, once cleaned up, look really good, minus this sticker. So this was the first side that I did, got her all dialed in, and um, you can see I progressively got better because I learned not to do that again. And on this side, obviously came out a lot better. The sticker actually still looks like it says Brembo. Got that finished up. Also cleaned up the hubs while I was at it, threw a little anti-seize on there. Then for the front, I was a little nervous because I was like, all right, how am I gonna retract uh, 
these pistons back, but I ended up choosing the old brake pads, pushing them back in and got them all locked in, ready to go. So super hyped on it. If you guys remember, this was the rotor that was completely gone with this right here. You could really see the difference. This one, crazy gouge in it. Obviously got a couple rocks stuck in or whatever, but now we're back on top. And these are actually the same exact rotors and pads from StopTech that I've been running for like two years. It does suck um, that honestly the, uh, the pads really actually had some good life left in them, which does suck. We had to sacrifice it just to, to get that rotor replaced. And I figure might as well just do everything all at the same time again for another fresh start and just finished up that last side over here. So finally, we're completely done. And there's also always controversy on the, what way these things go, apparently. I didn't even know that. Um, people were arguing about it, but I guess some manufacturers actually have them tilted the other way. I've just heard this. I thought they were always supposed to go this way, but obviously I'm just going based off what StopTech says. That's the left, and that's how they're looking. Last thing I need to do, we got that sway bar in, ready to go, but I left out that U brace right there because I still need to install, where to go? I still need to install that roll center correction kit up here. So we'll get that all dialed in tomorrow. And then of course you guys already saw that we got the lockdown bolts tucked in there, ready to go. And what's actually crazy is I was also going to install these and I didn't even realize I already had them, so. It is what it is. I think, what would you call this? Like the front diff carrier. Um, I didn't realize I already had them. I guess maybe previous owner like eight years ago put them in because I don't remember doing it. Or maybe when I did the STI swap, this all came together. I'm really not sure. I don't remember actually having those tucked up in there, but the parent kit that I bought with the lockdown bolts themselves um, came with those. And I realized I don't even need to install it. So last thing, roll center correction. And we'll get that done tomorrow. I got pretty much everything finished up. The front sway bar is on, all four brakes are done. Now, one thing I didn't even think I was going to put in this video is a modification for the aesthetics. I thought it was gonna be 10 weeks to wait for these things, but if you couldn't tell, these guys, they gotta go. Um, you can't see anything out of them. I've ran them for honestly probably like three years. They look sick, but these ones I think look a little better. These bad boys, Ganadors, not legit Ganadors, but pretty much as legit as you can get under $1,000. I think they're for like 800 bucks. They're from Aero 23. I bought them, not sponsored. I think they're gonna look pretty sick and the best part about it is the fact that they are wired. I can't find a wiring diagram on what wire is which on this, so I'm kind of struggling on it. I just wanna see what these things look like on the car and then I'll figure out how to actually wire it up, but let's get it installed. So we got this thing out. I'm bedding in the brakes right now. And I will say I desperately need an alignment after doing the roll center correction kit. I tried to make the toe the same, but it just wasn't working out. And uh, yeah, the alignment is most definitely off. 
but the mirrors look so freaking sick. I'm gonna get this thing parked up and we'll check it out. And here she is in all of her glory. Tell me the mirrors don't completely finish off the look of this thing. I would say from the front, it's honestly perfect. I feel like it matches the bumper, the shape, the flow of it, literally everything. Honestly, the Hawkeye is just meant to have Ganadors, I'm convinced. I mean, come on. Is it not perfect?